Hello friends, welcome again. Today in this session we will discuss solution of questions related to transport engineering which were asked in gate 2020 afternoon session. In my last session I discussed seven questions which were part of four noon session of gate 2020 paper. The first question is on matching. Match the following. And there are two lists. One list gives you the test, name of the test. And second list gives you the parameter which is estimated from these tests. And list is like this. Soundness, crushing test, loss and abrasion test, stripping test. And list two is strength, resistance to weathering, adhesion and hardness. Question is simple. This is one, two, three, four. Now, soundness test is conducted to determine the resistance against weathering. So, P is related to 2. Crushing test is done on aggregate to determine some mechanical strength. Crushing strength. So, Q is 1. Loss and resistance value gives you the hardness of aggregate. So, R4 and stripping test gives you the adhesion property between aggregate and the binder. So, S3. This is the correct combination. And if you look at the options which are given as a part of options, that is the first option A, P2, Q1, R4, S3. That is the correct answer. The second question is, the design speed for a two-lane, two-way road is 60 km per hour and the longitudinal coefficient of friction is 0 0.36. The reaction time of the driver is 2.5 second. Consider acceleration due to gravity as 9.8. The intermediate side distance in meter required for the road is. Now, this is very a straightforward question if you know that intermediate side distance is twice the stopping side distance and stopping side distance is v into t plus v square upon 254 f 0 0.278 0 0.278 v into t because t is in second now speed is given f is given t is given you can calculate what is SST. V is 60.278 into 60. This is 2.5 second plus V square 60 square upon 254 into F. F is 0.36 and this is 81 meter. Intermediate side distance on a two lane road is two times SST and therefore the correct answer is 162 meter. That is the answer. You have to fill the answer in integer. 162 meter. Question number 3. Question number 3 is also straightforward. If you know how the traffic flow is discharged at the stop line. Question reads like this. Traffic starts discharging from an approach at intersection with the when the signal turning green. The constant headway was considered from the fourth or fifth headway position is referred as and there are four options. Now this is the vehicle number n and this is the headway. For first four or five vehicles Headway is larger because of starting delay and then it becomes constant. That is the headway distribution. For first four or five vehicles, the headway is larger and this is what we call the saturation headway, HS. Inverse of this is the maximum rate of discharge at a stop line. So, correct answer is saturation headway that is option B. 
Question number four reads like this. The average daily temperature at an airport is 39 degrees centigrade. The average maximum temperature is noted 48 degrees centigrade. What is the airport reference temperature? Now, airport reference temperature is Ta plus one third of Tm minus Ta. Ta is the average daily temperature and Tm is the maximum daily temperature. They are given. Ta is 39 plus 1 by 3 of 48 minus 39 that is 42 degrees centigrade. Simple question. Answer C. 42 degrees centigrade. That is the answer. Question number 5. Question number 5 is what is the VDF? VDF is vehicle damage factor. VDF for an excel load of 15 ton when the standard excel load is 8 ton. Now standard excel load is 8 ton. Actual excel load is 15 ton. Vehicle damage factor is estimated using fourth power law. So, VDF, vehicle damage factor is 15 upon 8 power 4, 12.35, 12.35 that is the vehicle damage factor and here also you have to fill the value 12.35. The next question is 24 hour traffic count at a road section was observed to be 1000 vehicles on a Tuesday in the month of July. If daily adjustment factor for Tuesday is 1.121 and monthly adjustment factor for July is 0 0.913, the annual average daily traffic is in vehicles per day. Now, this is on traffic volume studies. Weekly traffic, daily expansion factor, daily expansion factor is used when you do not have the resources to make count of the entire week. So, what you do? You count only for a day and then estimate for the week. So, that will be traffic count for weekly for a week divided by daily count. Now, daily count here is for Tuesday and factor here is for Tuesday. So, you can find out what is the weekly count. So, the weekly count will be weekly count will be 1000 multiplied by this factor 1 to 1 that is 1 1 2 1 this is weekly traffic vehicles per week now this weekly traffic can be converted to average annual average daily traffic by multiplying it with the monthly factor monthly factor is given as 0 0.913 so, AADT is 0 0.913 multiplied by 1121 and this is 1023.47 or 1023 or you can write 1024. That is AADT, average annual average daily traffic. Next question, very interesting question. The next question is like this, the variation between Q and V is given in this figure. This is the flow and this is V, this is a triangle. 
what is the variation between v and k now this is a very interesting question in the sense that generally volume is p relationship is parabolic now here let me just put that this is a this is b this is c and let us say this is the maximum flow q so this is maximum flow which occurs at certain density and this is the maximum density which occurs at zero flow this is jam density now if you take this curve in two parts a b and b c and if you extend this b c to b t here let us say this is q1 q1 is some value on y axis q is some value on y axis but this is a capacity so let us take line a b line a b is a straight line <coughs> and equation of this line will be y is equal to mx because c is 0 it should start from 0 origin so q will be some slope into k a into k right now if you put it like this that q upon k is a what is q upon k so q upon k you remember this relationship q is equal to k into v so q upon k is a speed so speed becomes constant slope of this line will give you the speed so from a to b speed is constant density is varying from this point to this point density is changing so that is the relationship between speed and density up to this point this is a this is b speed is constant density is changing which is not practical now if you look at this side cb let us say up to d equation of this cd will be q is a that is q1 minus let me put b into k a negative slope equation of this will be q1 i told you is some value some value is a constant some value on the y-axis b is a slope of this line and k is the x value now again if you put q upon k it will be q1 upon k minus b this is speed again this is a constant constant value which you basically get on the y-axis as intercept so v is now some constant c upon k minus b so how it varies it varies like a this one it will vary speed will change exponentially with k but it will not touch because when k is when v is 0 when this is 0 then k will be k will be b upon q k q1 so it will have some value it will not touch y axis although in the question this is shown as a touching y x axis but it will not touch so if you look at the four options which are given in the question option c seems to be correct that is the speed first is constant and then it varies with the density in this manner that is question number seven so these were seven questions which were asked in the afternoon session of gate 2020 if you have any doubt you can write in the comment box thank you very much for watching this video